today I'm going to show you three 3D printed modifications that you can do to your Tiny Hawk Freestyle 2. The first modification that I did were these arm protector landing skits. I jumped on Thingiverse, couldn't find a file that I liked, so what I actually did was took an existing design that I'm sure you've probably all seen and then added a landing pad to it. If you like this design, there's going to be a link in the description below for the STL file. And if you have a Creality Ender 3 Pro printer or Ender 3, it would probably work the same. I'll put the G code there for you as well. Second problem I had was this antenna always getting in the way. So I made a nice U-shaped antenna tube holder. This uses standard antenna tube that you can get at several different suppliers. You just run the tube straight up in the bottom there. The last modification, which I think is the best modification, is actually not on the quad yet. The first thing I did was took this battery strap, took it off, and threw it away. Then I started from scratch. And what I came up with was this battery box. On the battery box, it has an antenna tube holder. To install a 3D printed battery box, you remove the four screws from the top of the quad. In the battery box, as you can see, there are four holes there. This one will actually work with the heat shrink on the antenna tube. Slide it down over the top, place it over the holes. Now you need to remember when you're tightening these screws, you don't want to go real tight. You just want to be good and tight, or snug as I call it. We'll run these down in. I usually leave the first one a little loose. Snug these up. You don't want to make them Godzilla tight. You just want to make them snug. Now the nice thing is, is when you go flying, one of the reasons I bought this was to practice. Well, when you practice, you crash. Now it's fully protected. You take the standard 2S batteries, and slide them in, and you're good to go. It holds the battery wires up out of the way, so when you plug up the quad, you can see everything is up and out of the way. The second modification I did to the quad was actually purchase a second one. Once I purchased the second one, I decided I wanted to upgrade it to an XT30 connector. As you see, I've designed a battery box cover that has an XT30 connector, as well as the balance lead holder. So this one here is actually designed for the Tattoo 2S450 battery, 95C. Put your balance lead holder in the side and your XT30 goes in the other side, which makes a great addition to your Tiny Hawk. The last upgrade that I did was this camera mount. The Insta360 GO camera is a wonderful little camera for this type of quad. I experimented with several different angles. I have a 10 degree mount, a 20 degree mount, and a 30 degree mount. I usually use the 20 degree mount. I've designed it with a little keyhole design here. Just pop it straight in the top. The nice thing about this design, you would think it would get the propellers in it, but it actually doesn't get the propellers in it, which I was very pleased with. I also have a horizontal design mount here that I've designed that will go in, but you do see a, just a little bit of this front corner propeller. Hopefully printing these 3D parts for your Emacs Tiny Hawk 2 will make your flying even more enjoyable. In the link below, there's going to be a link to all of the STL files, as well as if you have an Ender 3 printer, I will supply the G-code for you to make life a little easier. I've been printing 3D parts for quite some time, and I think I've got some good settings that you all might like. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and stay tuned for a quick second. If you print the part yourself, I've got some tips on how to get the supports out. When you print an open part like this on a 3D printer, you need to do supports. Sometimes removing the supports can be difficult. The way I found on this part is flip it over, take a pair of needle nose pliers, put it in towards the front of the mount, and give it a big pull. That's right, give it another big pull. And as you can see, it pulls out almost 100% cleanly. There's also two other supports. 
one for the balance connector in the side, and then one for the XT30 connector. This mount here is for the Tattoo 95C battery. I've gone ahead and modified this with a complete antenna tube. That way you can take the heat shrink off your VTX antenna and it gives you even more protection. Thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for more. Thank you.